Oh, hey there. How's it going? Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. There wasn't a real person over there. I was just trying to set up this video. Uh, you know how when we see people and we're actually talking, there's this thing where we all say, how's it going? And most of us just say, fine, or good, or pretty good. How about you? Like, it's so quick. Uh, you know, typically, we would say this while we keep walking away from each other, like you're crossing paths. Uh, you don't really stop, because who has time for that? Uh, actually, we have, we have plenty of time. But we just don't like opening up everything in those moments, which makes sense. But also, with lots of moments to open up, like the last six months, we also don't like to really open up about when things aren't fine, when we're not doing well. Um, but it's kind of important that we know to do that. I think we need to learn how to say that out loud a little more honestly. Not every time we're in the grocery store or uh, on a walk in the neighborhood, but every time we're with people who actually care about us and we have a moment sit and share life. Uh, let's not just talk about what we just watched. Let's talk about something, you know, real. Well, this coming Sunday, uh, a couple days from now, we will be gathering with the youth who are able uh, on the front steps for our Cornelia kickoff. Uh, and this will be a time when we're actually going to, uh, you know, you think about kickoff, and the idea of like a, a big football game or something where there's a big celebration, energy. There's that song playing in the background. The stand is like everybody's up and down singing the song. Uh, we're not doing any of that. Uh, but we're going to do a lament instead. A communal lament. Because nothing says uh, popular, enjoyable youth ministry like communal lamenting. Communally lamenting. I guess that's how we would say that. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to invite all the youth who come to um, have a space to name some of the things they've lost and we have lost, some of the things we're grieving. Uh, and we're going to do that together uh, in a way that um, has space for us to say honestly how we're feeling. How are we really doing? Fine? Maybe. Or maybe not. Um and we're using as a basis for this, of course, the Psalms. The Psalm uh, as our rule of life from the movement of word comes, pray a Psalm daily from Via Caris. We've been talking about that for years now, but to pray a Psalm daily is something we have to keep trying to live into. And uh, I'm encouraged that our youth are doing this. Um, I uh, recently asked all of the students who were applying for a leadership team uh, to share a psalm that's been meaningful for them, one of their favorite psalms uh, mo most recently. And what you see behind me uh, is their listing of what they said. Uh, two people had the same psalm, but otherwise it was all different. Oh my gosh, that was so wonderful for me to read, to see that they've been uh, journeying just on ventures through the psalms on their own. Um, so that when they're asked that question, they have a whole myriad of answers. It's not just your Psalm 23. In fact, that's up there once, and it's a great one. But it's a whole range. There's Psalms of praise and thanksgiving, and there's Psalms of lament. Uh, as you may know, of the 150 Psalms, more of them include lament than not. They're mostly uh, have a, at least a section, if not the whole thing, about grieving and being open with feelings of frustration and loss uh, towards God. And they were designed to do that as a people of faith together. So uh, we're going to do uh, some lamenting this Sunday at our Cornelia kickoff. Uh, there will be fire. There will be a uh, burning of things and there'll be some ashes, all controlled. Uh, we don't want to spread any uh, actual wildfire here, but we do uh, want to use this, these elements to help us think about the power of lamenting together and this biblical imagery of ashes. We won't be sitting in the ashes, but we'll be learning what it means to, uh, what to do with our ashes, how to offer them to God, and then how to walk through them and lead into a, you know, hopefully a way of hope um, where we can all anticipate hope that can come out of this loss. So I hope for those youth who are able to come, I hope you can come and be here. If you can't, um, 
then we will try to share what we're doing um, in this format or some format in the weeks to come so that you can be a part of this. For now, uh, let's continue to pray a psalm daily, whether it's Psalm 105, which is this week's uh, church psalm of the week, or wherever you feel the Spirit leading you to pray. And know that when we do this, uh, we can be honest. How are you doing? Let me tell you how I'm doing. That's how my, my answer that time with God, by sitting with some of these psalms uh, by ourselves, but with community. The peace of Christ be with you.